Good evening. This is the dimension of unbelievability. It is an area which we call the Frauditor Zone. In today's episode, David of Good Guy Audits gets thrown out, rejected, dismissed, and butthurt with the bonus of two walks of shame. Hello everyone. Where are we? You must be wondering. We are at the Alexander Hamilton U.S. Custom House in Manhattan, New York with David of Good Guy Audits. Why are we here? Well, you are watching David do the walk of shame through the museum because he's over the top butthurt about being kicked out of the U.S. Coast Guard Recruiting and Services Building. He then does the walk of shame only to go right back and get denied access yet again for a second time where he leaves a trail of tears on his second walk of shame over to the museum. You know what they say, double the walk of shame, double the fun. Okay, only I say that, but it's true no matter what. So grab your popcorn and let's watch this double header of shame. U.S. Department of Homeland Security, United States Coast Guard, Recruiting and Service Center. World War II. I'm okay, thank you. I'm sorry? I'm okay for now. No, you got it. Why not? What does that mean? I'm building. You can't recording in here. Please don't touch business? me, sir. Please don't touch me, sir. You got any business here? Can you remove your hand from my shoulder? You have any business here? Thank you. Yeah, I have business. What's that, sir? Is there a reason why you got your handcuffs in your hand? Is there a crime? I'm asking you to leave the building. I'm yeah, conducting it's business. No, okay. You need How's to that private? You just said the government building. Yes, right. How do people get recruited? Again, you need to leave the building. Can I speak to your supervisor, please? No, I am here. the supervisor. I'm so, asking you to leave the building. Let me ask you a question because he's yes, too close. Let me back up. Yeah. So you're saying the public can't come here to get recruited? The public can't? Yeah, what you can't, but you can't why record are these, right now. Why are these pamphlets here? So the public Again, can gather. Why are we recording the whole building? We're recording a, a, a private mail area. I'm in the public lobby, sir. Again, you're recording the yeah. building. You know what Smith v. Cummings is? I don't care what Smith v. Cummings is. It's a Supreme Court case. Why do you can keep, step out. What's wrong with you? Why do you step out? Why are you shaking? Shake? Yeah, get some... Well, that escalated quickly. Just how quickly, you ask? Okay, you might not have asked, but I am wondering. So let's go back and find out, shall we? Okay, let's go back forward and see how long it takes. I'll speed this up a bit for you. Two minutes and 13 seconds. That's actually too long. Hopefully in the future they will do better in removing these leeches of society sooner. Or maybe just tasing them. Whichever comes first. I'm just kidding. Or am I? Get your supervisor, old man. See that? You 
He's shaking his shit. You seen that, right? You see that, right? Such a great represent representative of our military. I'm in total agreement with you. The only thing that could have made him a better representative of our military is if he kicked your ass out sooner or tased you. Whichever would come first. I was just kidding! Come on! Come on! You guys know I was just kidding, right? He said it's a government building, then he said it's a private building. Keep pushing, right? Hey, this guy gets up. He's gonna go complain. Yeah. Funny thing is that they, they have blinds. Aw, poor David is looking in from the outside, feeling like a lost puppy. He looks like an idiot, but he must feel like a lost puppy. Poor David's not allowed to film whatever he wants, whenever he wants. Oh, have the spoiled been soiled. There you go. That's the right thing to do. I wonder what the man is pointing at. What's wrong with these people? Oh, now it makes sense. Unfortunately, David has a blind spot when it comes to signs for jobs. Well, can't blame the man for trying. And tell them what? So what? Stop. Don't touch me again. Don't touch me again. They feel uncomfortable you recording. They swore oath to protect my rights. So they should be uncomfortable. For what? What crime? Again, I don't even know who you, you are, sir. Why are you talking to me? Okay. Who are you? Who I'm are you? Was Harris, security, head of security in this building. Okay. All right. You don't cannot know the be law? recording in here. Of course I can. It's public. No, it's not public. It is. It's, it's not public. It's Arm not public. The U.S. Inside Army is not public. public. No, this is the Coast Guard. Who funds, who so funds the Coast Guard? Look, when we, it's Coast Guard. Who funds, funds the Coast Guard? Where you are. Who funds the Coast Guard? Okay, buddy. Who funds the Coast Guard? The people, right? The people. Of course. The pe the public could come in here and gather public information. In the, I do. That's too. why you I could be, be here. I do. That's why I could be here. All right. I do. That's why I could be here. Can't be here. You can't be recording. Why are you stuttering? Cause you're lying. Okay. Well, nobody's lying, dude. You are. Okay. Earlier you were shaking. Now you're lying. Nobody's you're stuttering. even shaking. I'm not even shaking now. Why don't you break All right, contact? Stop recording. Go back then. to your job. I feel uncomfortable freaking you recording. Um, that's I'm sorry it. they feel that way. I'm not gonna stop recording that. Uh, they shouldn't feel uncomfortable. Excuse me? They shouldn't feel uncomfortable because they swore to protect my rights. All they right, took an oath to the Constitution. Again. Excuse me, sir. You're blocking my movement. Uh, fucking anything. Am I detained? No. So why are you in my way? Of course, it's not private property. It is property. private property. That's no, why it's I'm not. Here security. Yes, it's it not is. private property. It is private property. So if the public wants to come and get recruited, they can't come in to get recruited. They want to have an appointment. They come in and get recruited. They want okay. to recruit. They come recruit. Nobody need... ever comes in here recording this is anything. Private property. Here we go. I'm gonna get out your way because your breath stinks. Yeah, his breath stinks. That's why you're running away from him. Sure, we believe you. Yeah, all right, fine. I'm gonna go around. Cause he keeps blocking my movement. I'm gonna be here all day until you guys close because you just violated my rights. Hey, you put your hands on me. So now, now I'm gonna be here all day. Call the cops. How you doing? You're, what's your name? You wanna join the Coast Guard? If I, I went in there for a reason, right? 
Tonight, you grab me, you put your hands on me. me. I did tell you. I said I'm conducting business. I said I'm conducting business. But you so you so focused on being a tough guy, you so focused on being a tough guy that you didn't even hear what I said. I'm gonna let you talk. Go ahead, talk. Say what you gotta say. Fucking bum. David now embarrasses himself by looking outside the building. If that wasn't embarrassing enough for him, wait until you see him trying to wave down a person inside. This kind of comedy doesn't even need to be written because it just frights itself. Can I speak to you? Why not? I need help. He's crazy. He don't want to help me. Can you help me? Can you help me? That guy, he grabbed me for no reason. Now he's further embarrassing himself by doing some weird form of sign language and hoping the man can read his lips. Unfortunately, as you can see from David's reflection, he's wearing a mask. So all he's managing to do is to make himself look crazy. Let's move ahead to the walk of shame. I'll speed that part up for you too. He now pauses to take a smoke break and complain to his viewers. We're going to just skip past all that to when he goes back again because he's just stupid. Let's go speak with them. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. And you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, so I'm an independent journalist. I'm working on a story. So what I do is I gather public information from public entities and I disseminate it to the public. This is a public agency. It's the Coast Guard. It's fun. It's, it's the, come on now. If it's not one of the most public places, right? So what I went in there to do was gather public information, you know, also to check up on my government workers. You know, Smith v. Cummings. We can record our government officials in the course of their duties, just like we can record you guys. Right. Anybody that works for the government, we can record them while they're working. This gentleman, as soon as I went in, I got, gathered some pamphlets, as you can see, some, some paper. I was going to continue to gather public information. I want to speak to somebody in there. Maybe they could tell me about the Coast Guard. So my view was if anybody's interested, you know, it's, it's matters of public interest. This gentleman grabs me, forces me out the building, physically assaults me. Physically assaults me, right? No, I got thousands. I got thousands of viewers right now, live. You said, "Do you need help?" You said, "Do I need help?" I said, "Not at this moment." I said, "Not at this moment." He said, "Do I need help?" I said, "Not at this very moment." I was going to continue to gather my information. No, I'm not even talking to him, so I'm talking to you. I was going to continue gathering my public information, and then I was going to access to somebody. At that moment, I didn't need help. What gives him the right to put his hands on me and assault so me? So what, what this gentleman is explaining to us is, like, just like the police precincts, you can record all you want outside. You, can you, have you actually outside. could, you, you actually can record, record in, in the police precinct. Inside, no, there's not, no law against it. There's not a law. There's on any, I don't know about their building inside, but our police precincts, once you walk inside, there's actually a, a policy, a, a, a not a law. There's a policy. That's a policy. Okay. You can, thing. sir. Can technically, record. technically, we're supposed to be allowed to record in police precincts, not in private areas, but in a public in a public lobby. We're supposed to be able to because it's a public building. But you guys are enforcing that policy as if it's law. Is there's no law that we can't record inside a public building? What you just said. You guys are. Wait, wait, wait. You, Let me repeat what you just said. Go ahead. You said it yourself. Recording in a public area. Where was I standing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where was I standing? Wait, hold on. He's, he's he might be talk, standing in. Go ahead. Go ahead. I might have been standing in a public area. But what did you do? You walked up to a private room where the mail room is, but it's stuff that you should not, even nobody should, and you recorded inside a mail room. Then you went to a, the metal door and recorded down the hallway. It's not a public area. That's where there's a door there. So, in your own way, you contradict yourself. No. You're recording where you're not supposed to be. Where was you want it? to record the lobby? Okay, let me ask you a question. You that, you I would say he's finished respecting you. you let me ask you a question. Where was I standing? It doesn't matter. It does matter. Can you, can you explain to him what the, the, the plain view doctrine is? I hope he can explain to David as well, because David obviously doesn't understand what the plain view doctrine is. 
The plain view doctrine is a rule of criminal procedure which allows an officer to seize evidence of a crime without a warrant when the evidence is clearly visible. This doctrine acts as an exception to the Fourth Amendment's right to be free from searches without a warrant, also referred to as clear view doctrine or plain sight rule. In other words, it only applies to officers. So, David, really, do better. Please, it's very serious. Can you please educate him on what the plain view doctrine is? That means if I'm in, I'm in the public area, listen, hear me out. I let you speak. Let me speak. I'm standing in the public area. That means whatever I can see from public, I can record. Okay. If you want privacy in that mail room, you put the blinds down. That's like telling me, yo, don't look down that hallway. I didn't go into that private area. I'm standing in a public area recording whatever I can see. Can you explain that to him? I didn't go inside. I, I can record in there all I want. If the woman's bathroom door is open and there's women in there, you're allowed to record them because you're in the hall. Is that the bathroom? I'm using your bird. You can't record in bathrooms, period. What is he talking about? Can you record in bathrooms, sir? It's called time, place, and manner, sir. You know what time, place, and manner is? This is where you guys come in and educate him because clearly he's not educated. Speaking of educated or lack thereof, if knowledge is power, that explains why foreigners are some of the weakest links of mankind. If I'm standing in a public lobby, whatever I can see from that public lobby, I can record. Why can't you educate him on that? What you're saying right now with the manner thing? It's time, place, and manner. Of course I can't go into a bathroom and record. It's time, place, and manner. But if I'm standing in a public lobby, whatever I can see from that public lobby, I can record. Because I'm in public. So you're still inside the building. With the time, place, and manner thing, can you please just not go inside and record? I'm trying to gather public information. This is a public entity. Is, it not, is, is this not public access? No, I wanted to speak to someone. I want somebody to tell me about the Coast Guard for my viewers. Is this not a public entity? Is this not public access? He gave me access to the building. I was in the public lobby. And then he assaulted me. He grabbed me. No crime was being committed. So what is that? That's not battery? He could just, so, so I could just grab you? Can I grab you and push you? Why? Because that's OGA. That's obstruction governmental. Okay. So why can't he grab me? The reason why is because he told you to leave. You probably didn't leave. Okay, so now he has to escort you out. That was so, he, so it's okay for him to violate my rights in a public entity. How is that not? I'm not committing a crime. How are you going to escort me from a public building when there's no crime being committed? Is there a crime being committed? So what right does... I don't have a... Answer me this question. Do I have a right to, do I have a right to be in this building? You can't record. But you don't have a right to go inside. You have to ask it's public. It's public access. The general area. Where do you think I was standing? He's explaining that you went to the mail. I didn't go into the mail room. That's hearsay and that's a lie. I have everything on camera and this is why I record. It's live. You're I, right now I'm live. I got thousands of viewers, thousands of viewers watching me standing in the public lobby. That's the second time he said he had thousands of viewers watching that live stream. And here we are two days later and he has less than a thousand views. It's not like he has to know math or be able to think. I mean, YouTube gives you the amount of viewers even as you are live streaming. Maybe he's adding the voices in his head. Still, that would only add up to 935 because, well, let's face it, his brain is not big enough to hold more than even five imaginary people. But because, listen, but because I can see down the hallway that gives him the right to grab me and escort me with no crimes being committed. I didn't. I didn't. That's hearsay. You got to investigate. You got cameras there too. You're recording anybody that goes in there. So you're telling me that this is private? This The, the U.S. Coast Guard is private. The Department of Homeland Security is private. That's what you're telling me? I'm asking you a question. This is private? I need your cards, please. It's funny because you, you, and everybody in this building took an oath to honor our rights. Soon as somebody exercises their rights peacefully, it's a problem, right? So I need clarification.
I need you. I, First Amendment, freedom of speech, freedom of press. Yeah, are you telling me? Are you, you telling me that this outside. is private? Yeah, that is a private building. You can't go inside. Okay. So the public can't go inside to to get recruited. You, go and gather you, information, you, 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 still, you still gather information, right? What's in your pockets? You still right. I wanted to speak to somebody. You still can't record. You still can't be take pictures inside the building. It's the same goes as. M so this is a, you're saying that this is a secure facility. Why do you keep saying that you can you can record in the lobbies? You can. A, you the I, listen, you guys are young. I want you to look up the law that says that we can record. What law is it? It's a policy. It's not a law. But you guys are enforcing it as if it's a law. It's not a law. What, what, if I go into a police precinct right now and record, what, what, what we'll crime? What crime would I be committing? You, we would have to ask you. From a public building, right? Oh, it's a public building. Hmm? Police precincts are public buildings, right? Yeah, you can still go in. There. Yeah. So what law would I be like breaking still, by recording in there? Still, like you said, the policy and all that stuff. It's a policy, policy, right? Not a law. But you still can't do that. It's a policy, not a law. We're gonna still ask you. We're, we're still gonna ask. But what out. crime would I be committing? Out. Trespassing? Is it's you the same crime that when he was escorting you out? What crime is, is that? that? The crime you were. There's no, there's no crime. Like but the you, crime that you were saying. Listen. It's not an assault. Listen. You said that. You said this is a secure facility. Police precincts aren't secure. There's public lobbies there, right? So supposedly. Supposedly they're saying it's a secure facility, it's private, which I kind of see it a little bit because he had to buzz me in. That's the only reason why I would think it's so what's secure. The issue? What do you do for a living? Let me ask you that. This is what I do for a living. That's all you do? Yeah. This is productive. This is productive. This is productive. If I wanted to, it's shit I damn sure don't want to no more after the way I was treated here for simply no disturbance. I didn't cause no disturbance. All I did was exercise my rights. That's it. You're f you hate. Why do you hate the Constitution? Why do you hate the Constitution? Oh, exactly. Can walk of shame. And now, without further ado, I bring you the second walk of shame. Sped up for your amusement. And that now brings us full circle back to where we originally started. So to recap, we have three failures, two rejections, two walk of shames, and one very butthurt bastard. Well, that about sums it up. For this segment of the Fort and Fatigue Cool Down, upon request, I present to you beavers. I was going to say that David looks sort of like a beaver, but I don't want to insult the beavers.